Welcome to another practical video analysis promoted by Total Football Analysis. In today's video, we will be talking about Rafael Paladino, Monza's head coach. Let's talk about his formations first. He tends to use a 3-4-2-1 formation that can provide extreme balance in all areas of the pitch. It instantly proved to be successful. Monza is now scoring 1.44 goals per 90 and conceding only 0.9 goals per 90. When looking at Monza's pass map under their new manager, it is clear they like to build out from the back. In fact, their work in the first few phases of possession is crucial to how they will play next. The bulk of their passes are concentrated in their own half, and as they progress forward, they become much more direct. In the first phase of possession, Paladino likes an expensive build-up structure. Stretching the opposition's high press is key to creating space to progress forward. This is originally done in their formation, but as rotations begin to take place, it can be maintained through multiple ways. Finally, in the segment below, we can identify the overall objective of their build-up. The aim is to attract the opposition's defensive structure deep into their half. As soon as space opens up, they bust forward with extreme speed and verticality. Further up the pitch, Paladino's possession is very wing-oriented to provide extreme balance to create wide overloads and progress through the half spaces and wide channels. First, we can use the heat map to illustrate their areas of focus in possession. And despite having four midfielders, they are concentrated in wide areas. Additionally, they are much more active in the earlier zones where they retain possession patiently before going direct. And with constant rotations, they are able to disorganize the opposition and create passing lanes, whether they have numerical superiority or not. On the contrary, the superiority tends to be tactical and social effective, especially as they get more used to playing with each other. They are not necessarily an extremely high pressing side when talking about defense, but they are still able to recover the ball high quite often. And since Valentino took charge of the team, they have had 81 high regains, 134 counter-pressing recoveries, and 23 of those led to a shot in 20 seconds or less. They also like to force the opposition wide and overwhelm them against the touchline. Additionally, the defensive territory does not begin extremely high, highlighting their inclination towards a mid to high block instead. The start of Rafael Spalladino's manager career has been extremely promising, and all eyes will be on Monza and the rest of their season. After a disastrous start to the league, Palladino has been able to come in and restore success with his exciting tactics. And while those are certainly interesting in style, they are extremely effective as well. It will now be interesting to see if they prove sustainable. Nonetheless, Palladino's manager career is off to a fantastic start during the Serie A.